university's referendum on the resumption of the academic program has opened. The SMS and web-based vote uh, got underway at 7. It will be open until 4 o'clock this afternoon. The university is asking students and staff whether or not learning should resume on Monday at the institution. Management says the process will remain anonymous. Auditing firm Siswa and Saluba Gobodo will oversee this process. Now, some protesting students, represented by advocate Dali Mpofu, tried to interdict the poll in the South Gauteng High Court last night, but lost the case. The results of this poll will be announced tomorrow. Well, let's get more on this now. We're joined by Professor Tawana Kupe. He's the Deputy Vice-Chancellor at Wits University. Professor, good morning and thanks for your time. We know that this is an online and an SMS poll, so very difficult to gauge uh, just what uh, the response has been so far. But how is it going just from what you're judging? Any glitches uh, so far that's, that have been reported to management? Good morning and good, good morning to your viewers. We, well, we, we can't tell since it's online and SMS-based, but people can call in uh, and say that I'm not able to do this. We haven't received any now. It's about an hour now. And uh, so our technical team will, will give a report back to us around 8.30 a.m. All right. And, you know, uh, Professor, we have put this out as a question to our viewers, asking what they think, if this is the answer, if uh, a poll like this uh, will actually resolve the issue or give us any insight. And some of the sentiment that's coming through is that university management should probably try to resolve this issue first before um, going out and holding a referendum like this, resolve the issue that is, that is at the base of all of this trouble. Remember, the issue that is at the base of this trouble is that the students want free, high-quality, uh, higher education. A university cannot resolve that. Uh, the, the, the university is funded in order to provide quality education. That's a question for the government, if you like. What we want to resolve, which is within our power, is the ability to reopen the academic programs while students peacefully prosecute the struggle for free higher education. So, so I think that separation must be, be very, very clear. A poll of this nature, which is one of our decision-making tools, cannot, of course, resolve the issue of free higher education. Now, we know that uh, this has gone the legal route, that uh, a group of students uh, represented, uh, represented by advocate Dali Mpofu have tried to get uh, this, uh, this referendum stopped, that it would not go ahead today. Um, and yet you have gone ahead with it. Are you not anticipating that uh, if the result is that uh, most of the students want to go come back to class, that you will face a legal challenge after that, many saying that this is a legally flawed process? I think the High Court yesterday is and uh, of course the uh, systems of appeal did say that we have a right to do so so we are going we are not going against any court order at this point it is possible that you know uh, the students who, in, who, who, who were interdicting us could then appeal and a different outcome would arise we are uh, as VIT and as a university that teaches law would abide by any court judgment and i think that is the beauty of our democracy that people can test these things in independent and credible courts. And it is, I think, important for everybody to respect a court judgment. So what happens uh, in both cases, Prof, if the vote is that they don't want to go back to class, what do you do then? Remember also, I think that what, what is not, is, is not being clear, which I want to clarify, the poll is not a thing in itself. In other words, it is not the only mechanism we're going to use to make a decision about returning to court. The reason why we went to the poll note is that the number of a, a emails, SMSs sent to management members pleading with us to reopen. It's impossible to gauge how wide an opinion or a void is if you are only getting selective messages from some and not others. And also we, what we could see also with the protesters is if you just went by the various meetings that they have in the protest action, you could easily say that it's, a few, it's, a, it's less than a thousand people. But the sentiment could be much broader than, than a few thousand people, given the nature of the issue. So we're using the poll as one of the decision-making tools because it is vitally important in the interest of South Africa that the intellectual investment by the students, the financial investments by all sorts of partners, including parents and students themselves, is not lost in this academic year 2016. 
So what happens, on the other hand, if, if students and, and staff vote that they want to resume classes, do you think that, that, and if this does happen on Monday, classes resume on Monday, what's to stop the protest from continuing as well? What do you, what do, you do then? Because they will be disrupted. Would, I think that we would use appropriate means to ensure, which means engagement with protesters and the, the variety of our community, and putting in, in place appropriate legitimate security measures to ensure that those who want to continue with the academic program does. The first line is persuasive. I think that if the outcome, I'm saying that most people want to go there, the protesters themselves would have to engage reflectively and critically with what does it mean for the people you want to support what you are suggesting if they say, we also would like to resume the academic programs. So, so that kind of critical democratic engagement is in the DNA of our constitution and we should embed it in our culture. So what is the, uh, Prof, what, what is the process underway to, to talk to leaders, if, if, if there is such a process still going on, to talk to leaders of this protest as well? Because I it would be pointless to hold... Yeah, your station has reported is among many media that we have sent out a call there to engage a student leadership. There are a number of, in, in situations like this, you would know that there are all sorts of engagements that are not visible and sometimes not necessary to be visible to the naked eye for, of, of, of engagement. But it is true what has been publicly at play and all the four was this contestation and discussing around the poll. It went to the courts last night and you have reported correctly mm -hmm. that the court said that this is a legitimate way of testing opinion. Well, can, can, can you give us figures, Professor, this morning as to the total number of students at Wits University and then judging by this poll, what number will you be looking at to, do, to make this decision tomorrow, by, by tomorrow as to what will happen on Monday? 37,000 students. Remember also we're also polling our staff the permanent staff, not, uh, not, not, not uh, ancillary staff. So another 4,000 to 5,000 or so. We, we're basically looking for a majority here. We're not, and remember that the issue is not a, 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 it's not a percentage poll, which we say then. If there's a majority of people, which reflects what we've been receiving as a plea, it fits into the decision making. And, and also, uh, um, uh, it, it then in a sense says to everybody, the community would want you to also reopen and resume academic programs so we do not lose everything in this mm. academic year. Now, it is an anonymous uh, poll. What's to prevent some students from uh, putting from, from, from voting more than once in this poll? Oh, you know, technical measures have been made sure to ensure that there is no double voting. And crucially, Susan Saluba and uh, uh, an audit firm is going to audit the results to look at any of those things. All right, and Professor, just finally, at what time tomorrow, at what stage tomorrow can we expect the result of this poll to be announced? I'm not sure about that. I would have to touch base with the technical team. It was quite a day yesterday. Mm -hmm. I, I presume that uh, uh, you remember that uh, there has to be actually the technical team has to say these are the results. The incident that look back about has to do its verification exercise. It will be dangerous for me to just uh, announce a time right now without a uh, having regard to what, what kind of natural process they do. We, 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 what we understand is that and a result is possible to be announced tomorrow. All right. We'll wait for your announcement on that. Thanks very much, Professor Tawana Kupe from Wits University.